for Microsoft. Uh, if you don't get to know it, I guess it doesn't let you do the forgot password. So I can set it for you right now. Uh, Emma? What's your last name? I spell it again. Yeah, so you There you are, Abigail. You go by Abby or Abigail? Abby, okay. And we will reset your password. We'll make it AS dash CS101. And it's going to make you change it when you first sign in. So AS dash CS101. Anyone else need the password? Uh, log into Microsoft.com or you can go to Office.com and sign in. That will let you use the OneNote and actually share it through Microsoft. Through their, through your, you, actually they give you lots of stories up there. Okay. Wrote. There you go. Emma. Emma for sure. E for Tula. Okay, we'll go there. And there. All right, that one's done. There you are. And I'll reset your password to the same thing. You have to use the uh, first initial last name dot at the mayest at edu. Anyone else need the password? And so Marco, A Marco. I, I created this from our list, but we said we're same thing. Okay. So Abigail Marco, you said. Emmaus dash CS 101. Oh, Brett saying that? Okay, all right. Set password. If you are logged in, it should show you with your little name there. I think it will let you actually modify your profile. Okay, so while we're there, let's just go ahead and then, and now that you're logged in, or getting your login, I'm going to restart OneNote, just to remind us what we want to do with OneNote. And I'm not going to be too fussy, as long as you know how to create a OneNote, and then uh, share it with you. Let's go that real quick. I started OneNote, and I'm going to start up. Adam is at EPU. Check it again there. Oh, and what? I put two L's 
see your last name. Let me see if I can fix your name. If I have it wrong. I have two T's and two L's. So I think I did that wrong. Oh, there we go. Maybe I did that wrong. Yeah, I did that wrong. Okay, Marissa. Oh, that's not you. You go by Marissa? I just said hers. Uh-oh. I don't know if you used it. I guess I have to put you in there. Alright, I'll make that happen for you. Sorry, I wasn't I was looking at the last thing, wasn't paying attention to it. Alright, now you are oh, license. So you have uh, office license and just for fun this other thing. Not that I don't think that is not that is the office, the students. And the three other things. There you go. So back in the assignment list, here's the thing we would like to have done by today. And I thought I'd start up one over. Start up for me. Let's see. One note, twenty sixteen desktop application. What I want to run here, we have it. And there's not going to let me zoom in there. Zoom in there with my text. When you're in OneNote, you should see your name up there. And if you don't, you can change to a different account. Switch account. I don't want you being confused by being someone else's account. And this can happen in the library. If people are using their Microsoft account, it doesn't automatically sign out. So be, remember, you're actually keeping user files up there. You're using OneNote. Switch account over to yours if that's not you. And then while you're there, you can create a OneNote. And then once you have the OneNote there, you can do a file and Share it. And all I did in my OneNote was create four tabs, or actually three tabs I created. One about taking detailed notes, and I scribbled around on it just a minute. Then copied and pasted a few links from a Google search. Same thing for the respectful class of Google had a respect. And come prepare this. And let's put in a title. Um, one note a decent little note taking application that you can use on the free app for mobile devices as well. So just a little exploring of the software available from Microsoft. And even though I like to whine and complain about Microsoft controlling our life, being way too rich, they have made a better life for us. Although the operating system has its issues, and I like the Unix and Linux operating system or the Mac operating system, Windows has brought us at least some commonality among us. Before Windows came along, PCs were you never knew what we were going to have. The software was not compatible. Now files are generally compatible. All certain all types of systems across the world, even older versions. Does anyone have any trouble creating a OneNote, starting the OneNote app, logging in now, and then to share it? This is going to be common to a lot of the Office applications. The upper left file menu. Is where we get the shared thing or deal with the details. 
details of our file. And there I can go down to the share menu item and share with people. And let's see what we have to do to share it. I don't want I don't want to require people to uh, have to log in. Rather, I just want to give them a link. What I can do here, instead of share with people, get a sharing link. There's the link. I don't need to edit this. I can control C copy or right click copy that link. And then in the submission to Schoology. Now, as a teacher, I don't see this. In, in your submission to Schoology, do you see a place where you can write notes, comment? Okay? Just put the link in that comment. And say, here's the link to my shared one link. So there's the sharing link by going to and do that again. I go to File, Share, Get Sharing Link. And while I'm there, I can see that I could share it with someone just based on their email. I could share with Microsoft Meeting, which I haven't used. I could uh, move it around. And then it shows you how it's shared once you have done the sharing. You should see the little global, anyone with a view link. So there's one note, just playing with one of the newer applications that uh, is available through Microsoft. Now the next thing we want to do is use one other application that we just get familiar with Microsoft Windows 10 and what it can do for us. Another application that is called Sway. It's like maybe a potential replacement for PowerPoint. I'm, it was introduced about two years ago, and I'm not sure if it's really taken off. But it's kind of interesting and worth doing a little exercise in it. And the way to view that is I'm adding an extra tab to my browser. And I'm just going to the website, sway.com. And because it's a Microsoft product, if you're already logged in with your OneNote, I think it will assume that it, you are logged in with that same account. I'm going to create a Sway. It's not telling me. I'm assuming. Assuming it's logged me in, it's not showing. I was hoping it would show my little name up here. Just to, there it is. If I put down the little three dots up there, the ellipsis there, it shows me, yes, I'm logged in. It recognizes that I'm still logged in. And I can create a sway. I created one this morning. I was just practicing. But let's just create one from scratch. Uh, but first of all, let's make sure you can go to sway.com and get logged in there. You think it would say sway.microsoft.com. Uh, to sway.com, just like you have office.com. Can you log in there and create a sway? And let me know if you're having any issues. And we're basically we're going to do the same kind of thing, but play with sway a little bit. Just kind of have a little fun with some new software. Has anyone here ever used sway? What do you think? What do you think of it? Has anyone here used PowerPoint on a mobile device? I mean, they do. They, they do have a PowerPoint to be able to view on a mobile device. Have you seen issues with that? Using PowerPoint with a smartphone or a tablet? Sway, I think, is their attempt to make it a little friendlier for multiple devices, where you can make a PowerPoint that this the player for Sway will automatically know whether you are. Rotate it on your phone, or whether you're using it on a tablet or a desktop. So Sway is trying to be a little more intelligent when you're show, creating a Sway. Make it friendly to multiple devices because there's so many people now using a laptop or a note or a, or a tablet, but you, everyone has a has a phone. And so that's the I think that's their general idea. And I haven't haven't heard people raving about it or seen tons of Sways. But it may be something that you might want to give it a try. You may find it pretty handy. Especially, I can, I can imagine someone that deals a lot with people demonstrating for people or sending presentations to people that they can do on their phone, like a sales or a corporation or even an e 
even a ministry that you want to get your name out there. Maybe show, maybe using Sway might make it a little easier for you to view your presentations in their environment. You want to be flexible for that. So I'm just going to, once I'm logged in, just do a break new. And it's a fairly user-friendly uh, system here. If I just click somewhere, I can get my title. Let's see, CS11, yes, Spring 2018, and I'll add, add your name to it somewhere. And if I hit enter, it looks like it starts a new slide with enter my sway. Right. And let's see if I've asked you to create a slit sway with a particular content. But let's look at the introduction to Windows and Office. Clicking on that link at school, I see the assignment. I have link to a sway newsletter. Here's the one I created this morning. Terribly exciting. I think if I were not logged in, it would have actually immediately presented for me. But uh, what are you asking? Create, create a new presentation using digital newsletter for a club organization or your favorite music. So make up some name of a club or some organization. And so that's pretty flexible on what you make up. Could be completely fictional, could be an actual organization you may want to just. That little presentation for here. You know, Maze could be the chess man. I don't know if that's been a chess I don't know if people that like to play chess because chess does not play chess. So just make it a sway with uh, basically any club or music group, something that might be fun, and see what it takes to actually make pages. To create a background image, all you do is click here on the background and it pops up a little uh, search bar it usually will try to guess what you're searching for based on what you have already typed got a little attempt at intelligence there but if it's not finding what I want I'm going to look for chess I'm going to make up a chess book type in chess there and there we've got some images already available in the Microsoft uh, collection of images. For safety, I choose Creative Commons only. I don't want to worry about copyright. It just becomes a famous world famous way to start suing me. So I'm only going to use what's in Creative Commons. And I just click on an image, and I, I can click Add, or I can click Regular. And that becomes my background image to actually see what my sway would look like. I can hit the Play button. And that's what my first slide would look like based on that. And I can then go and So I'll make something up here. Let's call it Join the Chess Club. Hitting Enter starts a new line when I'm there editing lines. Clicking plus adds more content. And I can choose what type of content I add. So let's say I want to add another cool, cool picture. Let's add an image. Just like that first one, I can drag an image here. And let's add another chest picture. We'll get some people in it this time. All the way over Let's add some more content. Let's see what a stack is. I could make a group stack. And let's add some content here. I have some text here. Let's have our let's have our call at three thirty. Every two And since I'm in a stack, I believe if I click the plus here, it will add another text to my group stack. So I've 
added a few things just for, for uh, fun here. And now let's play it and see what that looks like. There's my stat. Interesting font that it's chosen. I think I can keep repeating if I see I can either swipe, I think, or I fire on a phone, a swipe would do this and see if I can drag. Click and drag doesn't swipe on my desktop. I have to there's my little stack of items. So there, I've made a sweat, and I can back to it. And the two I haven't saved it yet. Let's see if it's going to let me save this here. Design. I can choose a different theme or storyline. So design, I can adjust items. There it is. Upper, upper right now is the save, and I can now export it or save or save as template. It's in my sways, I guess. Well, what name it would be? I think it took the name of my first title. It's not selling what the name is. Let's do setting for this bit. Good language. I can decide what kind of layout I have for my sway. These are the default settings. Viewers can actually change how it's laid out, rotating the phone. I can choose the language that it's going to be displayed in. I was hoping I could find out exactly what the name of my sway is. Setting the Let's go ahead and share it. Can I share it? Start button. Accessibility. Oh, there's the share button. Separate little button. Same thing here with this way. Go ahead and save it so anyone with the link can view it. And there's my viewing link. So I'll see. Go right to the copy. And now I can put the link to my sway. My submission. I can share it to Twitter or Facebook or LinkedIn or embed it in a page. I could require a password to view or edit. I'm not going to set that. And it looks like by default, viewers can share it with others. We don't want that to make, make that easy to do. We could uncheck we viewers can see the share button. So all I'm asking you to do is play with Sway a little bit, and let's see here. Choose a background image, make a few items, and again, if there's any trouble pasting the link, you can put it in a separate file and upload that file. But it's looking like it should be pretty easy to do it here. Now the only difficulty I have is what is the name of it? Let's just, I'm just going to go view under here. I'm just going to view my sway. Because it never asked me to save it. I'm assuming it's saving it as I go. There is my my sways. Yeah, it looks like it just automatically became. Shows the title page, I guess, as sway. Of my so these are the sways I've created in previous years. Saving and view sway that we made with play that one. So again, once you've created it, all you need to do then is share it. Let's go back to my screen. Back to the one I just made. Click on that. 
So if you have those two, all I have, all I require on this is you create a link, put your name in there somewhere, just like all here. Feel free to explore a little bit. Let's see, can I choose a different theme? That's a different font. Then styles, there we go. Under styles, I can choose a variety of fonts, styles. They call them styles now instead of a theme, it looks like. Do fully custom. Or choose some built-in styles. Clicking on it will adjust my background beyond my views. And to see what it actually looks like, I don't know. Let's look at there what Remix does. It looks like Remix will just let it decide what it should look like. And I could not keep that. Notice we're only using the browser to edit all of this. Nothing is being uh, run from the desktop. I just go to sway.com, log in, and they have my sways. I don't know how much storage I get there. I have not yet run into a problem with storage. Something you have to keep in mind if you use this a lot. So one option, we will be doing PowerPoint later on, but this is a in interesting alternative that is introduced in the, in the book as some of the new software coming out with uh, provided by Microsoft. This whole online, providing office.com for, for basically the world, Microsoft is recognizing they're competing a little bit more with Google Docs. So by making this available online, in a not quite as fancy as the desktop version program, they're making their products available, hoping that you'll want their other apps. This does require a subscription. Eventually, if you leave this goal and want your own official paid for version, you could purchase, I forget what the price is, but one time you a monthly. But right now, through our Emmaus uh, account, this is all available to anyone with that MAF.edu. So there I could have run Sway from there too, I guess, at office.com. As you create things, I'm just going to, I'm curious here, if I see my one, see my OneDrive, let's see if my Sways are showing up in my OneDrive. Put that my OneDrive app. Let's see, it looks like I'm not seeing Sways in there. So it looks like he's saving Sways in a completely separate location in your Sway account. Yep, I can share files there. That's something we'll be looking at later. I can actually share things in my OneDrive accessible through office.com. Anyone having any any trouble with that? Do you get trouble with what you get the account oh. figured out?
I believe that is correct, yes. Me too, I should really. <laughs> Just not pick it up. They they introduce it. It, it seems kind of. It is kind of. 